Hello and welcome to Farm America and Junior Achievement's Ag Career Exploration Program. My name is Sammy Meyer and I'm the Program Director at Farm America in Wasika, Minnesota. Today, you are going to get the chance to dive a little bit deeper into careers in agriculture and all of the opportunities that they have in store for you and how they go far beyond the big red barn. Before we get into any of the activities, I want to remind you that there is a career cluster inventory online activity that you can complete. You may have already done this and recorded your answers, and you maybe have even completed a few of the activities on our online website format. If you have, great. We're so excited to hear that, and we hope that you have a little bit of an idea of what interests you in your future careers. Included in your kits today was a Minnesota career wheel. The career wheel is divided into six different career fields. These career fields include arts communication and information systems, engineering manufacturing and technology, health science technology, human services, business management and administration, and agriculture, food, and natural resources. Within these six career fields, you will see individual career pathways that you might be interested in. Some of these pathways require two years or four year degrees additional training, and some even allow you to go directly into the workforce. The truth is, all of these career fields, clusters, and pathways can relate to agriculture in some way or another. For example, seed companies like DuPont and Syngenta need marketing managers to ensure they send an accurate and enticing message to potential consumers. These are just a few of the careers that may not necessarily be listed in the agriculture, food, and natural resources pathway, but can connect to agriculture in unexpected ways regardless. Once you've completed your activity, we'll provide additional links, resources, and opportunities for you to explore more about careers in agriculture. Chances are, if you find what you love to do, you can find it in agriculture. Today, you are going to put yourself in the shoes of an agricultural engineer. People in this career pathway can often find themselves designing and developing agricultural equipment and system products, or developing test plans and direct testing of these designs. Reducing pollution in a farm's water supply, improving the efficiency of rural electric power systems, discovering a new way to extend the life of tomatoes, are just some of the projects that an agricultural engineer might work on. Agricultural engineers' ultimate goal is to improve crop and livestock production while also making these agricultural operations as efficient and productive as possible. Scientists estimate that the world population will continue to grow and reach nearly 10 billion by the year 2050. With more people on the planet, that leaves less space for farmers to care for the crops and livestock that we utilize in our everyday lives. To put into perspective how much land on the earth is suitable for farming, I want you to think of the earth as an apple. I start by slicing the apple into fourths. Three fourths of the apple represent all of the water on the earth. The remaining piece represents all of the land area on the earth. Now in that land area, some of it is made up of deserts, mountains, or swamps. These are areas where crops and livestock are nearly impossible to grow. We are left with one eighth of the apple, which represents the remaining land. The remaining slice will be cut again into four pieces. These pieces represent the land that is occupied by humans in cities, roadways, or other human land use. We are left with one thirty-second of the apple that we started with. If we peel back the skin of the apple, representing the surface soil that is less than five feet deep, this is the land left that is able to be used for farming or agricultural production. We call this arable land. Provided with this visual, you can see how it is important to protect the remaining land and use it as efficiently and productively as possible. While the world's population will continue to expand, we can expect that this portion of land will continue to shrink. How can farmers and agricultural engineers work together to solve this problem? Using the materials, instructions, and engineering design challenge provided, think like an agricultural engineer. Create a model of your agricultural innovation. When you and your group have finished creating the model, you may want to submit your creation to Farm America's Flipgrid page and check out designs that other classes have built to solve these problems too. Good luck and we can't wait to see what you create.